Hello again everybody, welcome back to Banished with me, Gazbeard, and our little town that we're building are based around agriculture and forestry with a little bit of industry. We're waiting for this herbalist's um, house to build. Let's get the workers onto it, crack the whip, get the minions doing their job. We're going to have to prioritise this, I think. No, there's the last of the stone coming in now. There we go. Right, get it built. Come on, builders, get across here. Get your hammers and saws out. Because we're desperate for medicines. Our health is down to 60%. If we don't get the herbalist up and running pretty soon, our villagers are all going to get sick and our population is going to drop like a stone. We're up to 63, which is actually quite slow. Um, I'm normally at about 100 by year 14, and I can't figure out why it's been so slow, other than lack of food variety slowing down the breeding. Um, We've not had the seed trader visit us yet, so we've not been able to buy any additional crops. However, we do have chickens and cattle. So, a bit of variety in the diet there. And as soon as this herbalist is done, and we've assigned somebody to it, then we can start to think about expanding on the other side of the main river. While that building is going up, what I do want to do is I just want to put a, a little footbridge in here somewhere. Probably across there. Let's have a look. I should be able to get one across there quite easily. Just for them to get onto the other side of the river. No urgency to it. But might as well just have it positioned and ready. There we are, the herbalists is up. And what we're going to do is we're going to have four herbalists because we desperately need the medicines. We may have to cut that back down to two a little bit later and just have one at each of the herbalists' um, huts. So, right. That's this side of the river done, except for this mine and the two associated houses. Got a, another mine to build there and two houses for it. But we need to rebuild our stockpiles before we even think about that. Our woodcutter is out of wood again. We're not getting very much wood delivered into this stockpile. And I'm thinking it's about time that we shrunk that stockpile and changed it for a house. Maybe even reposition the stockpile. Yeah, leave it for now. It's not an urgent requirement. How's our chickens doing? 15 of 15. So we can split the flock. We'll make that chickens. We assign another herdsman into that one. Close it. And then we'll split that, that flock. And you should, yeah, the chickens are leaving, look, but they should be going into there. Where on earth are they going? There is no chicken pastures over there, guys. Come on. Get up here, girls. They're probably waiting for the herdsmen to turn up. Yeah, some of them have gone in the right way. We 
Where are they going? They're heading the wrong way. You're heading to the wrong one. This is where you should be. They are, they're heading to the wrong pasture. Seven of <sighs> Empty that one. Come on, head back down here, you lot. I'm going to change that to cattle just to stop them. And no, you don't go to that one. It's this one. Come on, girls. Get, you, get yourselves back down here. Come on. No, 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 no. You're all in the wrong place. Go round them up, girl. Go on. Uh, some of them have got the message. They're heading back down now. Talk about confused. Come on, you lot. Get down here. That one's turned round. These ones haven't. So there's eight in that one. Eight in that one now. Oh, that one's heading back. Oh, the trauma of trying to raise chickens. I tell you, man, they drive you insane. Uh, that one's caught onto the plot. These two haven't. Right, so our stockpile is slowly rebuilding. If we were to put these up here thinking where can we get some good strong forestry quantities without hitting these um, managed forests well I think that little cluster there is about the only one that we can get within a reasonable distance like those chickens have finally sorted themselves out.
So those three houses are going to be the next three houses unlocked. And that one. That will lead to a bit of a population boom. So we're going to have to hope that the... Um, the river trade has been with some seeds because I want to, I want to get these planted, but I'm not planting them with cabbages and peaches. We've got more than enough cabbages and peaches on the go. We need variation in the diet. We're into summer. Reserve of tools is low. I don't know why. He's got materials, he's working. He's now got his max capacity of steel tools. need to get some iron tools manufactured. Once we've got a good supply of steel tools in the warehouse, I'll switch them across to iron tools to refill the trader. to late summer or already cabbages are getting harvested he's at full ale full firewood full hide coats full steel tools seeing any deer down here. There they are. Hiding out a range of the hunter. Yeah. So are these ones. living in this house. That's better. Two foresters and a child. Which means we're going to need a house for the herbalist. I don't want it to eat into this land. Yes, we could put it up here. Oh, 
or there. How much stone is this producing? Not as much as I would like. It is producing it, but nowhere near quick enough. And we're down to three labourers. Our population's down as well. 61 from 63. Here comes a river trader. Hooray! Let's see what he's got. Early autumn. Should be seed or livestock, I would have thought. What's he trading? Leather. Oh, gold. Um, uh, okay. 25. He needs 300. There we are, 300. We get 25 leather. We trade 15 coats. Should get the tailor working. Hey, our cows had a calf. Let's have a look at this little cute fella. Oh, there he is. Such a diddy little fella. And the deer look confused. looking for chicken nests. They haven't got any yet. Population's down to 60. We're losing people. Must be old age. Well, we've just opened up a bunch of new houses, so there should be new children coming through in the spring. holding up well. Logs should be starting to hold up now because the um, woodcutters have hit their capacity which is 500 firewood. Stone is starting to creep up. Mirabella the trader died during childbirth. Oh dear. So we're down to one labourer now. And this is where we hit a real problem because we have to start taking people off resources in order to keep labourers spare in case somebody d uh, dies. As soon as we get up to about 50 stone, I'm going to release this house so that we get a farmer on this 
cattle field living here. Getting there. Forty five stone now. Down to zero laborers. Oh dear, this is getting dis definitely dodgy. might have to release that house now but I think I will um, it's this one isn't it yeah if I put a priority on that We should have enough stockpiled in order to just get that house built immediately. We need to get a baby boom going. One of our students has just matured to an adult. And we only have four ch uh, preschool children. Which did give us a labourer back. Health is up to 80%. It's increased by 20% during this year, which is good. Our food is growing up towards 5,000, which is our current capacity. Well, this looks like all the stocks are in. Peach harvest is up. I wonder if that's weather related. Now oh, theirs is down. And theirs is down slightly. It could be due to replanting as well. Two more stone in this house is a go. There we are. That's it. Oh no, six more iron. That's probably coming in any minute now. There's a huge stockpile of iron down at the south end of the map. But if we've only got one labourer fetching and carrying, that might be a bit of a problem. We can drop a builder to inc increase the number of labourers. There's early winter arriving. It's 
two uh, two more iron. Excellent, there it is. Right, come on builders. And up she goes before the, the thick of the winter. And notice how it's the women doing all the work here. Come on team, get across there, get that house built. We're out of logs again. And up it goes. Almost complete. winter. Looks like it's a mild winter, which is good. There we are. Forester and a builder in that house. Hmm. It's not what we were wanting. We wanted a farmer in there. Right, we'll let the stockpiles rebuild and then we can unlock the next house. And our preschool children number has jumped to seven. So we're up to 27 stone, zero logs, 88 iron. Our food is holding out tremendously. We're going to have to increase the cap. But it may be worth doing that now. Food limits. We'll take it up to 6,000. Just in preparation for the next harvest. Come on foresters, get them trees felled, refill the logs pile. We might have to instruct the labourers to fell some of the managed forest. The logs are sitting at zero. winter. Let's just see if there's any forest that we can fell. Uh, this was harvested recently. There's been a harvesting in there recently and another one there and another one down here. 
Uh, the only location they could fell is at the back here. How far does that come? That does cover over to there. Right. So... Let's have that little stand of trees there down. the trees there and there's early spring of year 15 so that's the end of the 14th year time to pause the game and end this episode there we've got a few little holes of our plan uh, filled in for example, um, Forrester's Lodge is complete, the Herbalist is complete, and the house for them is now complete. Uh, we got those two houses built, we got our chicken flock split, we bought some cattle, and the mine is gradually providing the stone that we need in order to start pushing building through so hope you've enjoyed it comment down below tell me what you think if you think i'm playing it wrong say what you think i should be doing i love to read your comments and i'm going to see you in the next video please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel check out the video description for more links to my other channels and i'll see you in the next one have a great time, and until then, bye for now.